All right, let's take a look at the New Orleans Saints now. And that first round selection of Marcus Davenport trading up to get him. I'm actually really surprised you uh, came above me on this one, Cam. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I hate this draft. Yeah, I, I hear you. I, I, I didn't flunk him because I do think Marcus Davenport can be a good player. I don't mind Traquan Smith, but I really don't like this draft. Now, I, I liked their draft last year. I didn't love each of their individual selections, but I adored getting Marshawn Lattimore. I was a little concerned about trading a second for Alvin Kamara. I was wrong on that one. I loved getting Marcus Williams. I, I wanted another edge rusher last year. They got it this year. But you traded away two first-round picks for a small school edge rusher who does need some work. That's a concern for He's me. He's raw. You could have got Harold Landry and just stayed pat. So you're helping your window now a little bit, but for the future window, you kind of shrunk a little bit there. I don't like the pick of Marcus Davenport. I don't hate the player. He'll do some good production stuff, but you gave up too much to get him. If you had given up maybe your second round pick this year, which you, I mean, you didn't have one, but if you get up your third and maybe something else, maybe we had a, a different discussion, but the Saints can't keep giving up future picks. It's eventually going to cost them. You gave up this year's first and next year's first for an edge rusher who I like but don't love. That's a concern for me, Cam. My mentality was I understood the approach to this draft from New Orleans because they are trying to put the pieces in place mm -hmm. for this final closing, if you will, mm -hmm. of the Super Bowl window with Drew Brees at quarterback. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's 39 years old. And that's why I gave them a C. I wasn't too harsh on them because I understand what they're trying to do here. But, yes, they are jeopardizing the future. I don't think it's the right, the right, the right way to go about doing things. Now, if you don't love any of the quarterbacks this year, I get that. But the Packers nailed the transition. Green Bay mm -hmm. took Aaron Rodgers, and then they let him sit for a little bit. You could have stood pat and got Lamar Jackson. Now, maybe the Saints don't love Lamar Jackson. That, that's the case. I get that. But I don't like that route. It's not the route I would have gone. Their other picks, they took a, a, a Louisiana Tech running back, Cameron Moore and Natrell Jamerson. Will Clapp I liked, but I actually didn't like their round four through round six picks. That's why they were D, because they didn't get great value either. Traquan I am okay with. He's definitely going to bring some upside there as a burner and some deep threat ability. And he'll be a decent receiver. I didn't hate the value overall, but it was average at best. So mm -hmm. overall for the Saints, look, Saints fans, I am sorry. You had a great draft last year. I, I don't think you, you got the same value this year. You, you are banking on Marcus Davenport turning into a 10-sack guy in the NFL. He wasn't that at UTSA. He's a project. So I, I, don't, I, I don't love what the Saints did this year. I hope I'm wrong. Again, I hope, I hope I'm wrong on all this. I hope every team nailed their picks. I really do, but I don't think that, I don't think the Saints did this year. Who dat nation readying their pitchforks for you, Tom? It's okay. It's fair. <laughs> it's fair.